In 2006, I had a bit of a career shift into the world of military HR, um, an unbelievably uh, rewarding part of my career, and I've been there ever since. I had a, a sense that the forces had a burgeoning need to focus on mental health, and I thought at the time that an increased focus on mental health uh, would allow the Canadian Forces to both help itself but also serve uh, as an opportunity for the Canadian Forces to exercise an increasing leadership role uh, in dealing with mental health. When I was um, at sea uh, 10 years ago, I had the opportunity to work with a young uh, student from, our, from RMC who came with us to sea for, for the summer. A uh, very high IQ individual who was a high performer at work, but every night going home across the bridge in Halifax to where he lived in Dartmouth, he had the temptation to stop the car and jump off the bridge. Every night. And he withdrew from his family and he was smart enough to seek help for himself because he had the confidence that the system would look after him, finally had the uh, the, the courage to put his career a second and look after he and his family first. It bears mention that less than 50% of the mental health cases that we deal with in the military have a deployment related, whether that be Bosnia or Haiti or Afghanistan um, or Libya or anything else. Um, but I think Afghanistan served as a catalyst for people to pay greater attention to mental health. Clearly, um, high visibility cases, including but not limited to Senator Dallaire's experience in Rwanda, have served to focus people's attention on mental health. The mental health professionals inside the military have always dealt with that, but it's a greater understanding of what it means for the chains of command and the military at large that mental health illness and mental health injuries uh, are a part of our business. The OSI clinic at the Royal, in my view, is a model. Uh, some of our mental health professionals were engaged with the Royal through an OSI advisory committee to help get the OSI clinic uh, up and running. I sincerely hope that a ward like this will give confidence to those who have yet to come forward and seek help, to come forward and put their hand up, because that at the end of the day, we have an enduring commitment to those that have served this country to help them as best we can. If we have um, some greater capacity challenges in the Canadian Forces today with respect to treating people, I take that as a good problem to have because it's a sign that more people are willing to put their hand up and come forward and seek help and uh, I think that's a real sign of progress. My name is Rear Admiral Andy Smith. Now you know who I am. Are you with me?